what's up guys blink gaming again back at it again with the new video guys so today we're going to talk about squad tournament guides so this is a simple guide and for sure most of you uh, already knows about this but um, we can still help uh, some people or some players in order for them to have an idea how to avoid um, squad that is uh, rushing you from their airborne so don't forget to like the video comment and also please do share the video to your friends and hit that bell notification button in order for you to be notified on our next video so guys um, squad tournament guide how to win over a squad who rushed you from their airborne so I will show you one scenario after this okay guys um, we're going to talk about a um, scenario here because there is a one squad here and also to remind you this is a tournament um, lobby and we are up against a well experienced team and also players uh, what happened here is uh, we are sniping these people in the high ground of the pipeline so um, they have the upper advantage so right now they will use their airborne they will use their airborne against us <clears throat> so we are i'm trying to snipe them but um i'm not hitting them so, so as you can see here they already used um airborne right here and what will happen next is um let's see so now they used airborne so there is two option whether they will rush us or they will um, avoid us so we will see so if you can see this guy you can see their direction so you can see this guy his direction here is going towards us see this guy um, you see this guy he is going toward uh, towards us and so on this area before our airborne drops you can see me using a um, smoke because um, I will tell you why smoke is very important during clash or during enemies um, approaching you by using airborne so it's not just one guy it's a one squad and all of you all of your teammates they are on the they will onboard the um, airborne your own airborne so what will happen here let's see so we use the smoke so everybody is on the um, airborne so our enemy have the chance they have the advantage on hitting us while we are on the airborne did you see that did you see this minimap here there is already a footsteps um, if you can see here there's already footsteps here and I am the one who is who's left behind so without the smoke man they will have a advantage on him they will be able to hit me but um, the smoke helps so now we have the advantage so I told Ninji to go down first because Ninji look at here he is using a defender class so always remember that defenders defender class go down first okay and let's see see him first one to go down see him first one to go down facing one two three enemies so he will be able to put the shield here to blind all of them and we will have the advantage high ground advantage over them 
you will see you see he blind all of them he was able to blind them three Now you see we have the high ground advantage and it will be easy for us to um, hit them or free hit on them. So we were able to <coughs> eliminate their squad. So, so the next one will be what if your squad is almost wiped by your enemies? How can you recover after that? so i will show you how first things first do not ever rattle your teammate that is left the, the guy that is left behind do not do not ever rattle him don't speak too much don't speak too much on him you just have to let him be because guys you don't have that guy on your team it, if you don't believe in him because for sure there is something on him that you saw that's why you bring him on your team and he is also capable in doing so by just himself okay because you don't um get players from somewhere else to your team or to join your team for no reason for sure there is a reason and also the reason is you trust him and also he played well so let's see how it goes how to recover from being almost wiped by a enemy's team so on this scenario guys what you have to do as a captain you just have to remind him on the timing of his healing because healing is very important here once you forget to heal you will die outside the zone so right now he was able to revive me Muska and also his healing now in order for him to revive Pabi okay so let's see <clears throat> so right now you can see that he was able to revive Pabi or Mr. Pubs. And now let's move on to um how he was able to save himself. Because he needs to always heal up. So now <laughs> so right here i told them just to glide do not control your character you don't have to control your character here because what will happen here everybody will kill each other so all of the team that uh, is left behind they will kill each other because th this type of zone is a dead zone or death zone is the like the second last second to the last circle <clears throat> so while dropping while gliding you can see ninji is already almost um inside the zone and he still have um too much of a um, med kit or first aid kit so we, we're just going to glide did you see this kill feed now they are starting to kill each other the key here is to survive is to win the game so now they are killing each other now so now i saw this high ground did you see this high ground here this is our chance to um wait for them to kill each other then at the right moment the right time we will be able to have a chance to win the game or turn the table <coughs> and 
Yeah, Pabi is saying that uh, you just have to swim and heal because you can. Because in the tournament, you can also heal while um while you're in the water. Pwede ba ako magloot dyan? Kaso nasa swim swimming, nasa naglaro ko yung kape. So now, three of us, three of us are in the high ground. And also we saw one, I saw, I already saw this um guy here. But uh, we cannot do anything about it. We just have to wait for the perfect time. Yeah, I told them that we cannot go there. We cannot go there. We cannot go there because um, we will just die. We will just die. They have a much more powerful weapon. So Ninja was able to kill one guy, so it's our chance. So they were able to don Ninja Jesus, our teammate. So it's our chance, and we already have weapons, all of us. So it's our chance to go inside. Yeah, I saw I saw that there's a trap there. So did did you see that how I was able to uh, pinpoint the real player? If you can see here, if you can see this this guy here, he's jumping. That's how you will pinpoint your um the real player from the illusion. So let's bring it back again. You see him here. He will just jump. He will just keep on jumping. You see? He jump. He jump here. And these guys, they don't, uh, they don't care about Muska. But this guy is jumping. So that's how you can pinpoint the real, um, the real one to the illusions. See, that's how you win the game. The key is to survive. Yeah, he's saying that we are complete here. Yeah, Ninji was able to down one. That's a V20 pups. And Quen was able to down Ninji. Down Mr. Pubs. Yep, but Muska was able to kill slow. So on this one guys, this is a survival tournament again. This is a one round finals um, tournament. And the goal here is to survive. Regardless of how many kills you can do, you just have to survive. So we used a airborne here. And as you can see guys, did you see the map man? Did you see how many how many teams man? How many players are still alive man? This um this size of the circle man. This is like the second to the last circle. And you will see us how we were able to um win this tournament. This is a first person um perspective tournament guys. So let's see. Go ahead and watch. Alright guys, top 1 po, top 1 at 2nd po ang mananalo dito. 
Yeah, so only top one and the second will be the uh, crowned winners. So what happened here? So did you see the circle, guys? <laughs> did you see the circle at the break? Everybody's inside the smallest circle. So this is going to be mind games, guys. Yes, the matay po si Bisa sa labas ng circle. Now we're down to 14. We have NRX 420 and NRX. So, did you see that, guys? I will show you. I will tell you why we dropped there. Ano po dalawang NRX dito? Pumaso si Watafuck OBM sa gitna. Nabi paglaban. OBM is almost down. Yes, Watafuck OBM is down. Now we have NRX 432 and NRX 420 remaining. Sino ang sa pangtinlulod? Sino ba yung nag-iisa? May nag-iisa pa eh. So there is three teams left. Our team, um, and Alex, um, four three two team, and um, this um XV team. Yeah, this is four twenty versus four three two. XV seventeen is on the cover. So we rushed um Chadi. I killed Chadi with the Chico. And then there I killed um XV seventeen with the sniper. Yeah, so right here guys, um, we use the airborne and I told them to be on this um, high ground. Okay, so I was able to kill this guy. And there is still one guy uh, below under me, but uh, I cannot push him because there is still one guy on in the practice range over the wall. So I told them that there is still an enemy below me. So under me. So what we have to do here, uh, we are just waiting for the uh, next cooldown of our airborne. And most guys are still flying. So he have a perfect view of the um, safe zone. Yeah. They said that there is still um, one squad inside the practice range. So I'm asking for adrenaline. <coughs> what we have to do, we will just have um, full boost. We just have to full boost. So I told them to fly already. So right now here, after we fly, even though we are outside the zone, uh, it, it packs little uh, fewer damage. So right now, I told them to go to the any cover. So we went there on that um, rock. So that's how that rock saves us. So I told them to use your grenades, use your, all of your throwables. And he said there is there is still one guy that is uh, floating, you see, or gliding. I told them use I will use smoke and we will rush after the smoke. Right there, we were able to grab the champion again on this tournament.